So Reaper has a lot of really cool options for their video syncing to sound system. It's really simple. All you have to do for the most part is drag an MOV or FLV file directly into Reaper. And you go to the view window and go all the way down to this options that says video window. And a little video window will pop up and when you scroll over the video window within the arrange window, then you can actually see what you're looking at. And then if you go to this little magnet icon here, and you right click on it, you can actually set your audio to be frame by frame. So if you notice that first, if you don't click on this and you have this magnet thing highlighted and selected, then you'll notice that you aren't actually able to see every little part of the video when you place your playhead down. So if you right click on this little magnet thing, it's selected to quarter time spacing. So if you click on this little drop down menu and you hit frame, now it will go frame by frame, which is a very useful feature because video is determined in frame by frame format. So that being said, we want our audio to be able to sync up as tightly as we can. So with this, we can actually just sync up our video frame by frame. There's another thing to mention. If you want to actually mute your video track, you just have to basically take the audio region that you see before you and you can click at the very top until you see this little vertical arrow and then you can click it up and down and you can mute it that way. Or you can select the track and move the volume all the way down as well. The other option is you can also hit mute, but this actually blacks out your video window, which we do not want because we want to be able to see it. Then the last thing to make sure to do is to go up to options and then preferences. Then check out the media tab on the left side and go to video REX and miscellaneous. And then you'll see a little drop down menu where it says when moving audio items, seek video frame to and all you have to click is start of audio item. If you don't do this, then your audio files will actually appear out of sync to the video in Reaper. So select start of audio item, hit apply and OK. And with that, we are good. Lastly, there's also a really cool feature where you can render out a video file. So if you go to file and you go to render and then you go down to your output format and you have a bunch of different video options. I like to go for MPEG here because it's pretty universal across all computers and it's safe to go for. And then from there, you can choose AVI, MOV, MP4. I like to go for QT, MOV, and MP4 just because it universally works across all computers. And the rest of it really just depends on what your preference is. If you want to export at 16-bit quality or uh, change the size dimensions, it's totally up to you guys. But from there, all you have to do is hit render and you're done. For those of you who take part in the Blip Sounds Discord channel competitions, you'll know that we have a lot of videos that we send out for each competition. And this is just a quick and easy way to export your submission and put it up online. If you haven't heard of our competitions, come on and join our Discord channel to learn more about it. And a winner gets a sound design related prize. So if you're interested, come on over. We look forward to seeing you there.